Um, right, um, as promised, I'm going to do my BB Cream Obsession video. Um, yeah, it has become an obsession, to be honest. What I'm going to do is, um, I'm just going to show you, I've got them laid out on my bed, and I'm going to show you, like, just individually and talk a little bit about each one, obviously, because I don't want the video to last ages. Um, right, so here goes. I'm just going to turn you around so I can turn you around. Okay, here they all are. Uh, right, so the first one I'm going to talk about is probably the first one I ever bought, which was this one. So this is Garnier's... Actually, I bought the original one of this um, before this one came out. Uh, yeah, so... And it was okay, but because I've got oily combination skin, it didn't suit me that brilliantly. Right, yeah, so this one. Um, it is a 40 mil. I don't know if you can see that. Let me just see if I can focus on that. There you go, 40 mil. Um, Garnier BB Cream. Uh, Miracle Skin Perfector. Now, to be honest, I absolutely adore this. Um, like I said, the original one wasn't brilliant. It had sort of... Um, I don't know, it looked grainy on my face. And then obviously, um, finding out that they'd brought this one out <laughs> would sort of like... It, it sat on my face a lot better, obviously, because this one's designed for um, oily combination skin. So yeah, this one is my favourite. Um, and my, also my daughter's favourite. I've also got this one in medium when it gets a bit darker. So that's that one. Uh, my next favourite, I would say, at the moment is the L'Oreal Nude Magique BB Cream. Now this one is, uh, let's have a look, 30 mils on this one, so not as much. Um, obviously this is the one that's white and it comes out, it, yeah, it comes out of the, the tube white and it blends in with the little pigment um, things that are in there. Um, so yeah, that's that's got to be my next favourite. Uh, I'd say, th I'd say the Garnier one, this one here, I don't wear foundation over the top of at all. Um, just powder and good to go. It's nice and quick, so that's that one. This one, again, I probably wouldn't wear foundation over the top, or I hadn't been wearing foundation over the top in the summer, so that would be that one there. The next one I got was the Superdrug BB Cream. Now, this is in light, as you can see there, and it's a 50ml tube. I think this is about 7 or 8.99, or it could be 6.99. Not impressed with this one at all. Definitely won't be repurchased in this one. It, I don't know if I can show you. Oh, that's really messy, sorry. But it's really dark, and this one claims to be, obviously, light. There you can see it's light. Um... I felt really greasy on my skin. I do, at a push, wear this as a primer under my foundation. Because um, obviously I don't want to chuck it away. I'm still going to use it. Um, but I won't, definitely won't be repurchasing it. So that's the um, Superdrug BB Cream in light. So yeah, that's that one. Then I went out and I thought, I'm going to buy a higher end one. Um, because... I just wanted to try it, to be honest. I've seen Pixie Boo talking about it all the time. And also, um, oh, I, c I can't remember her name. I'll link. I'll try and link her thing below. A lady called Kat. She's absolutely fantastic. Um, and she, she absolutely adores Dr. Jart um, BB creams. So I thought I'd have a go. It was the cheapest one out of all of them, I think. This one was £18, which is pretty steep just for a BB cream. But it's the water-infused one, and it does make you feel like you've got water on your skin. It's really hydrating. I don't know if I can squeeze a little bit out there. Yeah, there you go. It's sort of... They're not, they've not come in colours, these ones. They're just one colour. Uh, this was... A, this has got SPF 25 in it, which is cool. Um... And it's also a 50 mil. I don't know if you can just see that there. Yeah, 50 mil. So yeah, it's not bad. I like it. Um, don't wear it very often, obviously, because it's so expensive. And I just can't be doing with expensive at the moment. Um, so, but yeah, I'm glad I got it. Um, so that's that's that one. Uh, the next one I went out and purchased um, just through 
curiosity really was the L'Oreal Revitalift um, 10 Repair BB light um, BB cream in light. Now this is slightly different. It's if I can get the lid off. Oh, I will get the lid off in a minute. Right there you go. This is a pump. Um, it is actually quite dark considering it's supposed to be light, but it blends in really well to the skin, so it, you can't really see it. Um, this one's um, a 50 mil, and it's got quite good coverage on it. It's not brilliant, um, but I, I like the little bottle to be honest. It just looks like um, it looks really high end, even though it's it's not really high end. But yeah, I like that one. I would repurchase that one again. Um, but I do like that. That's the L'Oreal Revitalift 10 repair. Um, 10 points of repair. I don't know if it tells you the 10 points of repair. Targets 10 signs of ageing. Um, which I definitely need. So we all need that. And it's got SPF 20 in it. So that's that one. That's the L'Oreal Revitalift one. Um, obviously the next one I, I saw you. I, I told you in my last um, video. If you saw it. Which is my little haul. And that's the collection BB cream, BB secret it's called, I don't know why it's called a BB secret, I'm not quite sure what the secret is, um, it's got BB technology, so, but it doesn't tell you what that is, it's um, SPF 15, and you get 30 mils, uh, so yeah, like I said, this, this one's um, not brilliant coverage, it's not, um, it's not overly greasy, it's not sticky, but it is a fantastic primer, to be honest. Um, yeah, I love it as a primer under my foundation. It doesn't get a give a lot of coverage, but it does make for a, a really nice base for your makeup to sit on. And I use like the mousse foundations quite a lot, so putting a mousse foundation on without a primer, it just doesn't last five minutes. But this, um, it lasted all day yesterday when I used this under my... Um, I think it was my Maybelline mousse foundation. So yeah, that's that one. And I got that one in light and medium. Because the light's just a little bit too light. And the medium mm, is just a little bit too dark. So mixed together, they're absolutely perfect. And they're 3 .99, I think, in Superdrug at the moment. Uh, my next one is my Gosh BB cream. You can't actually see it's Gosh because the stupid little labels that... I hate these labels at Superdrug. Superdrug, if you're watching this, could you stop putting these labels right where you need to um well they're right in the information bar to be honest i got mine in o2 beige i think there's about four or five colors actually in the gosh one which is quite good um and you get can i see how much you get in this yeah 30 mils 30 mils and it's got spf of 15 in it so that's quite cool um it's an all-in-one it's a foundation, it's a primer, and it's a moisturiser. Um, yeah, I love this one. I use it, I can use it with um, foundation on the top, or I can use it without, so that's quite cool. Um, I love the uh, texture of this one. It's really silky, and it doesn't feel sticky, uh, which this one, this one feels a little bit sticky on the skin. But like I said, this one is good, because um, it's brilliant for putting matte, mousse foundations over so yeah that's my um gosh bb cream um and the last one i'm going to talk about is my sleek bb cream now, i don't actually see if you can see oh yeah there you go look you can see sleek now um there you go sleek and it's lovely sleek packaging i wonder if that's called why they called it sleek um this is their bb tool blemish balm um it says here there you go you can say conceals repairs protects full coverage blemish balm cream with SPF of 15 and this is a I think it's a 50 mil did I see where it was last time I think I said it was 50 mil last time didn't I uh, yeah this is a 50 oh it says on the box that it's 50 mil I think yeah it says down there it's 50 mil um, there you go uh, I got mine in um, very fair or fair and light this one's the light one um, I can do a demonstration of actually using this one. If you want to see um, a demonstration of how this compares to a foundation, um, I can do like a half and half. If you want to um, see that, just leave the comments below and I'll do that for you. That's no problem. It'd be really cool. Uh, if you want to see me putting my makeup on again on screen, 
I can do do that. So yeah, that's my um, little pile. I just, I'll just chuck them on the bed now. That's my pile of BB creams. That's my BB cream obsession. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, leave your comments below if you want to see anything else. Let me know what you want to see. Okay, thanks. See you in my next video. Bye.